Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor or Warthog. They haven't decided on a name yet, so I'm leaning towards Warthog because the supplier that's building them uh, sent out a list and out of the list they called it the Warthog. So I will link that in the description below, putting a picture, a picture of it up here. Just uh, it was too too small, so it won't work out that well. Anyways, so price point cars and drivers is estimating it to start at at least sixty one thousand because the Ford Bronco first edition comes in at six sixty thousand eight hundred. So that's what they're estimating right now. I think it's probably going to be a little more than that personally, but we will see. So Ford has done said that they won't put a V eight in the Bronco. A lot of people from the articles I've been reading reading are thinking it's going to be the 400 horsepower twin turbo uh, 3 liter V6 that comes in the Explorer ST or the uh, 450 horsepower twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that comes in the current Raptor. Uh, I'd like to see the 3.5 liter. I think that would be great. But I really would love to see a 5.0 in one of these things. That would just be amazing, but I know it's not going to happen. But we do know whatever engine goes in it is probably only going to come in the 10-speed automatic. The Sasquatch is the only one that comes with the manual, if I remember right. So, as I said, it will have the same suspension as the Bronco, I mean the Raptor, uh, on 37s, which is 37s from the factory. Woo! That's, mm, mm. That's just beautiful. Ford... A lot of people are talking about Dodge right now, pulling out all the stops with their cars like, hey, everybody's going to electric and hybrid and we're building these 800 horsepower uh, Hellcats. But Ford is doing it with their trucks. Ford, that, that's what Ford's known for. And that's where they're putting their money and their investment. People, not everybody's wanting sports cars with kids anymore. But, man. It's just... It's immaculate some of the things they're doing now. They, they're they um, just a little leak to another video we're going to publish. Uh, they're going to be doing a V8 Raptor now, too. I think this is really a good competition with Jeep. Jeep that I know of doesn't do a lot of bigger packages like this. I think it's more of you have to do it yourself. So I think it's really cool for those who maybe just want to buy it and have it done already. However, with this, uh, on, on Cars and Driver, they talk about that Dodge is actually uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But so Ford, I mean Dodge, uh, oh, teased about a Jeep Wrangler with a V8 Hemi in it, which if Do uh, if Ford puts in the 450 horsepower current F-150 motor that'll match up with the Hemi that they were talking about putting in the Jeep so now realistically will I see them putting it in the Jeep with Dodge I don't think so but I feel like Dodge and Ford are having this little war going back and forth so that'll be interesting to see I'm really interested to hear your your thoughts and what you think of it what motor do you think is going to go in it What's your guess for price point? Would you buy one? Would you drive one? I'd fight if it comes out and it's affordable. It would be hard. Especially if it comes in a little bit lower than the Raptor. It would be hard to say no. Because that just it just looks like it's a lot of fun. I mean, look at it. And I'm sure it is. And I know the Raptor is a lot of fun. But, and I mean, the Raptors, I think they start at like 65. So 61 wouldn't surprise me. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below.